Greetings everyone, my name is Enterville, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Mega Man DOS Remake version 2.x. In between the parts, I updated from version 2.6 to version 2.7, so from here on out, the version will be called 2.x. That fixed a few problems that were in the game. So, during the last part, I defeated Torchman, Oilman, Sharkman, and Sonicman, and so unlocked Croc's Fortress. Before I go there though, I want to collect the last beat letters. So let's go after Bitman first. I believe the other one is at Dynaman stage, seeing how the title... It matches the way Mega Man 6 does it, where it shows where the four letters are. And it's a combination of Mega Man 3, where we had the four dog robot fights. And from what I saw from a failed test run, this is actually a teleporter that takes you back to the stage end. So instead of just... Uh, so instead of having the exit utility, you can just go in directly here. Um, oh yeah, that was the bouncing attack. So let's go travel all the way down again. Wow, this two hits, this two shots them. That's pretty good. Or pretty powerful. You should be almost all the way there. Ow, oh, and I still got hit there. Whoa, and I got caught by that. Let's see here. Okay, when you destroy them, they don't come back. Wonderful. Okay, the... Hopefully I actually have enough weapon energy to get through. There it is. Oh, wait a minute, this... I don't remember this place being open in the last part. Okay, because in the previous one I would have to take the upper route. And now it's locked itself off, I think. Interesting. Oh, is this another spike drop? No. Clever. Okay, let's go left then. Oh, okay, there it is. We got whatever letter that's supposed to be, so let's go all the way back and complete the stage. Oh yeah, and turn on the Volt Buckler as well. Oh, we have these electric pulses again. Not too bad. Oh, I see where this merges. Yee, this is kind of scary. Okay, this is where the paths merge again, so I just need to finish the stage and hopefully not die. Yeah, the fire, um, the torch, uh, whatever the torch weapon is called, is so powerful. I mean, it just one shots that and it costs less energy than the, um, whatever this was. And, and, it, and it costs less as well. So that's pretty good. I mean, even... Okay, it doesn't two-shot the big eyes, but... Yeah, really powerful weapon. I'm going to really exploit this when I get to the fortress stages. Let's see if I have to refight Bitman. Nope. Okay, there's the exit. So I got the... I think I got the B letter or V letter. Okay, let's... Oh, I got V? Okay, so it's not beat. What could it be, then? Anyways, let's go to Dynamite stage and see what's up over there. It's kind of strange. What could we spell with it? With that save? Rave? But yeah, hopefully these stages should go much faster with my overpowered weaponry. But yeah, the fire... The torch is going to be really powerful. Well, it says fire, but I'll keep calling it torch. I didn't really memorize the weapons, so I'll just call them by the boss names. So I'll memorize it in the next part. Oh yeah, and I really want to collect that E-Tank. That's going to be really useful, uh, really useful in the next stages. In the stages to come.
Wow, it pierces their defenses too. Okay, here's the split pat. Oh, oh, okay, that falls into the pit. Clever. Okay, it merges back over there. I swear I'm missing something. Uh, let me see if I can get to the end of the stage and see if there's any rot splits over there. Otherwise, I'll just go back to the stage and figure out what I missed. But I see what that's... I don't know how you're supposed to access that without actually having the... Ooh, what's here? That. I thought there was something that would be over here. No worries, I have enough lives. But yeah. Uh, how are you supposed to access that area unless you're revisiting the stage? There's no other explosive weapon that can open it, I think. Wow, this is... I wouldn't expect this... this any of... Uh, among the other enemies that there are, I didn't expect that one to be the most resistant uh, to that shot. Um, I don't remember this segment. Ooh, interesting. So when we replayed the stage, it actually changed it. Nice. Does that mean when I visit the other stages, uh, they're going to have a, a different background or something? Or different level design? I mean, I only remember this back at Blade Man stage. If this is the case, ooh, I would like to see the dog robot fights. Although from what I noticed, you can actually go to visit Croc's fortress before you fight the robot masters. I, I mean, finish fighting. I mean, finish uh, fighting dog robots. So maybe it's a good ending or something. It seems to be something like a good ending. Oh yeah, use the boomerang more. Oh good, a, co a combination of time bong and needle block um, gimmicks. Okay. Lower gravity. There's W. Ooh, that was a little bit close. I really need to use the boomerang more. Okay, so that was interesting. So we had a mini sec. Oh, we end the stage right here. That, well, that was an interesting change of pace. I'm curious if the other stages with letters actually also shake things up. Or if these are the only two. There's an odd delay here when before it accepts input, though. Oh, okay, we got the Wave characters, so we have unlocked Wave Man. Um, let's go to Wave Man first before we actually fight off all the other bosses. Uh, those being the Dark Robots. Maybe we'll get another weapon. It actually has a golden background that... Air Man? Okay, I know Wave Man is being a different one. And now we have Dive Man's team. Okay, we're back in Oils Man's stage. Interesting. I see a right pad. So I suppose we have to go this way. Oh yeah. Don't forget the boomerangs. Oh, that... You know what, I'll just use dynamite. Although the dynamite isn't that effective for this. Oh, okay, and the Mets actually resist the fire. Strange, although the Sniper Joes don't resist it for some reason. Ooh, oh, I remember you from uh, Cutman stage in Mega Man 1. Oh, thank you, Extra Lives. Ow. Well, DC is actually um, uh, carry the weapon pickups from from, uh, from where they usually are, so that's nice. Oh, there was a trick there. Ow. Oh yeah, bolt buckler. And I'll just use the wave weapon. Here's a collapsing platform gimmick back at 
Um, I forget whatever the, whatever the one I got C from. Sorry, I won't take those pickups. I want to. Oh, clever! There was a hole. There was a wall over there. Ah, I would think there would be something up there. I should conserve my weapon energy a little bit more for the bosses. Well, I did find a use for the oil shop, though. Oh, here we have the pressure gimmicks. Probably should be using this, and oh. I heard a... Hmm, I heard it. A... Wait, is that a metal blade? Oh no, it's this. Well, I don't want to be—I don't want to be oily on this segment. Interesting. So we basically have a combination of previous stage gimmicks now. Oh, whoa! And now we have the boss fight. Okay, let's try it with the pea shooter. I mean, Mega Buster. Hello, a wave man who's dressed like Air Man. Okay. His wackiness is definitely not the wolf buffer. Okay, he does two jumps and then... Okay, two long jumps, he then he fires that to stream of two bottles. Not too bad, actually. And if I'm too far away, he'll throw that tree sh uh, shot. Okay, not too bad. I can... I think I can just do it to Mega Buster only. Provided I don't keep making stupid mistakes like this. Okay, Wave Man is dead. Strange. He's definitely stronger than the Wave Man in Mega Man 5, though. Let's see what we get from him. Um, okay, interesting color palette. Kind of clashes on the eyes and very contrast heavy. Ooh. We have a wave, we got the Wave Torrent, aka a straight shot weapon that's pretty powerful for once. Okay, Wave Man is down, we have all four letters, but I'm only about 14 minutes into this part, so let's take out um, two of the, or at least one of the Dark Robot fights. Let's start with Blade Man. I suppose then we have a different uh, stage, or we have a connection to another gimmick. Oh, and there's the wave. Wow, it, is, it only takes one weapon energy. Although, if it if it hits an enemy directly, it well, it won't do anything. So similar to C, it's going to be... Or similar to the Sonic, whatever. It, it's pretty useful. Although it's much more powerful for a direct hit. And it does cost much less, so I can see the benefit for using it. I suppose this is also the soft weakness for most of the other Robot Masters. I still get the feeling if I had rushed yet, there would be a secret on the right side. Oh yeah, and I really want to get whatever's over here. Should be the same. Yeah, E-Tanks. Always helpful. The Wave Torn. I'd rather use the Wave Torn than whatever C is, unless I have weakness strength. Completely forgot. There we go. Yeah, the flame weapon uh, pierces through almost everything. I mean, it as you can see here, it makes dealing with those foes so much easier. The beaks, specifically. And any shielded enemy, to be fair, it pierces through almost all of the shielded enemies. Okay, I think the Doc Robot refight should be on the left side. There we go. Oh, okay, we have the mini stay. Oh, that was my fault, sorry. I slipped off the platform. I kind of rushed it when I saw those platforms falling. My mistake. No matter, we can just go up to here and it's only two screens away. Not much of a loss. I do like the ominous transition though. Okay, time to take this slow and steady and get through this correctly. Oh. 
certainly it's a step up in difficulty. Fold shield. I see the uh, ladder on the right. Okay, I, I didn't need the Volt Shield here. Oh, okay. At least I can see the platforms in the backs, so that alleviates one of my major complaints about Yoku platforms, where you can't see where they are and you have to completely memorize it. You do have to memorize the pattern here, but it's a lot more kind. I mean, you won't get stuck in the middle of one, unless you miss time your jumps. But you can see where the next one is, so it shouldn't happen, hopefully. Oh, now we have the metal platforms. Wonderful. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yikes, that was way too close for comfort. Okay, made it here, and we have more crushers. Okay, these all... Okay, they go back down. I kind of forgot that. Oh, sorry. Oh! Oh, I thought that was actually not going to go that far. Whoops. Okay, now we have to repeat that entire segment again, sorry. I thought I could actually stand under that. Not to worry. It's certainly a step up in difficulty from the previous stage, from the original stage, but I kind of expect it similar to how the Doc Robot stages were in Mega Man 3. Still want to keep this up for insurance, so I don't get knocked into the pit. I don't know, it's just me acting kind of overcautious. Whoa. Yikes. Well, at least there are those time bombs over there to uh, get under in case you miss the jump, or those magnets are coming. Yeah, and at least it you don't get crushed to death. That's good. Let's do this correctly this time. And this time I'll just skip finding the enemy and just go directly into the ladder. Sorry, my sh- Oh, the exit was right over there. I could have actually finished the stage if I didn't die and I get crushed. Wonderful. Come on, good. Got in the first try. Oh, hello, Doc. Oh. And now we have Mega Man 5 boss team. Okay, he's acting like Razor Man. Okay, he's firing those razors, so he's acting like... Uh, Blade Man. And he's also acting like Bitman with that... Uh, charge attack. Or dash attack. Um... Okay, it's the second phase of the... Of that fight. But, he's very easy. I mean, as you can see, it's very easy to dodge most of his attacks. Okay, now we end with the Mega Man 3 uh, final victory team. Okay, so wait a minute. Wait, wait. So if we defeat the boss, the Doc Robots, we get extra uh, abilities, so now we get the Energy Balancer or something? Oh, interesting. Okay, that, that, that... So we actually have a reason to go after the Doc Robots other than for completion's sake. Because we can go to Quark's stage. I'm not sure if we get a better ending for doing so, though. Okay, let's go to, uh, Voltman. I need to figure out where the Doc Robot entrance, though, is. Unless they actually move it. Well, I don't suppose... Well, I don't remember the stage taking place in the evening, so I suppose we're we're going to see a separate pad or something. I remember the stage, it's the one with the fan blowers. Should be a separate pad somewhere nearby.
And here's where the razor blades are very useful. Okay, that doesn't do as much damage as I anticipated it to be. Oh, that was a bit kind of bad, poorly timed. Okay, Yoku blocks. I suppose the the entrance to the Doc Robot stage should be somewhere nearby. Oh, interesting. I would normally go left at this point, but now we're forced to go right. Okay, I suppose this is the mandatory Doc Robot stage. Interesting that some of the stages uh, you can choose to go back to the Doc a Robot, but others you are forced to, like here. Similar, to, it's actually similar to what happened back in Bitman stage. Although there, it wasn't even Doc Robot, it was just for letters. So some stages will actually change themselves up. I still don't know uh, why we need platforms at the bottom. I'm supposed to catch you. Uh, these are surprisingly durable. Oh, so the left will lead back to the main stage, the right will lead to the dock robot. Part of the stage. Oh, okay, we have a combination of this stage, Voltman, and we have, uh, Dynaman. You know what, I'm gonna take the razor... I'm gonna turn up the my Volt Buckler on and get the Fire Wave or whatever on. Even then, I still get hit by that. Wonderful. Oh, and now we have those enemies back at the dam. The uh, Sonic Man stage. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. Well, I thought I could make jump it up, but apparently the lower part is too low. Okay, take two. Hopefully I don't need to replay the entire stage again. At least here we're forced to, and you can't miss the, miss the dock robot. Oh, whoops. And I thought that was actually uh, going down further. You know what, I think I'm going to... I'm going to kill myself one more time so I can actually uh, get to the... Uh, replay this part of the stage with two lives. So I'll skip to the part where I actually have two lives and get back to this point. So, see you there! Okay, take two, I'm back at this segment, and... Yeah, the scrolling is kind of messed up, it doesn't really center when I get over there. That explained why I, f I thought that was a... a actual jumpable platform, or connecting to the other part of the screen. You know, most of the weapons in this game are pretty useful, although some of them, like the oil weapon, are a little bit more situational, if you ask me. Hopefully I don't die in this segment, like I did in the previous one. Before that, Volt Buckler on. I'm going to use the W weapon. At least this uh, uh, pierces through the shields, so that's nice. Oh, and I was right next to a ladder over here. I should have used the Wave Cannon, Wave Torrent. Oh, hello there. Oh wait, I suppose I could have actually went to the Doc Robot in the second try, or... Actually, I'm not sure how the Doc Robots are unlocked, and... Um... Oh. Oh. Oops, I think I needed the bird in order to make the jump in the first place. Okay, good thing I can reset. Yeah, that's how I was supposed to... Oh, ugh. I pressed the jump button, and it failed to register. Ah, the same problem as before, I couldn't make the jump. I need to be in solid ground before doing it. Uh, sometimes I hate the collision detection in these. Okay, I'm back at this segment. Let's see if it works this time. Okay, now... Oh, for crying out loud, and I thought I would make it. Okay, let's try this again. Fifth attempt. Oh, whoa. Phew, that was close. Oh, I see you, electric beams, which I uh, climbed right into. Oh, that was a very odd snap, and... Okay, we're to here. Oh, I, I didn't see that. 
Okay, what are you weak to? Oh yeah, and okay, this is kind of like the universal weakness. Oh, he's acting like Voltman. Oh no. And the uh, Sonic Man, I think. What was the last and right part of the screen? At least you can easily jump over him. And he does the massive jump. And eventually he releases the shields and then releases all these uh, waves. Not too bad, in fact, it's, it's about as difficult as the previous one. This Doc Robot rematch was much more difficult in the stage department rather than the boss department. You know what, I actually have uh, time for one more... Okay, we got the energy balancer as well. I think. Um... I think I'll save it for the next part. I already spent enough time. So in the next part, I'll go after Torchman and Sharkman's Dark Robot refights. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day. Toodles!